After 13 years of marriage, this is the loyalty that you show your husband. It was mine. He's telling you to it tell the truth. White female. All I can do is all I can make sure is there's a white female in there. I can't see the can't see the driver's side, but um, it appears though she may have been loading a syringe. I'm not sure. I saw her like look like she removed the cap with her teeth, spit it out of the truck, and maybe shooting up right now. But we just had to go get a closer Probably look. Down doing some yeah, a lot of prostitution yeah. deals, a lot of drug activity goes on down here underneath this bridge. We'll try to hug over, stay as close. We'll try to yeah this way. How you doing? How are you? Can I see your hands? Fine. How you doing, sir? Fine. Let us see your hands. What's what? What'd you just stick Let between your hands, legs? Oh, Let me see your hands. What's you wrong? Man, don't Step you on out, man. What's Put your hands What's he up? hiding between his legs? You tell us what's wrong. Step out right here. We were eating lunch. Okay, well you just turn around and face the truck, please. Get out here. Get out here. Put your hands right here. What's in, is there anything on the seat? Hey, he was making some serious part of movements right here. Get over here. Ma'am, what's wrong is that you're sitting underneath here. Please spread your legs. You don't have any weapons or anything on you? No, sir. Okay, a lot, I've keep your hands up there, please. A okay, a lot of prostitution deals, a lot of, a lot of drug usage goes on out here, okay? I found it laying on the ground. Please put, put your hands up there, ma'am, on the truck. I'm not gonna ask you or tell you once again, okay? You think this is a game? No, I don't. You think something's funny about this? Put your hands behind your back. I have my shoulder dislocated. Okay. This one right well, here. put your hands in front of you then. Okay. I've never been handcuffed before in my life. Okay. Well, we came down here, okay, with the intentions of making contact with y'all and talking. But when y'all, when I came up and my partners Excuse approached me. the other side, okay, but he's putting something definitely under his, un, between his legs or underneath his thigh, okay? That's not, that's not normal behavior. Why don't, you, why don't you stand up here in front? There's a syringe. There's a uh, push rod. I found it when I. Ma'am, he's not asking you, okay? He's informing me of what he's found, okay? He's got a straight shooter right where he was sitting in the front seat. Like right there. Well, when I was watching it, it looked like they were stuffing it, so it would not surprise me if somewhere in here there is going to be a, <clears throat> a rock. He's my husband. He's your husband? Years. 13 years? Answer me this. All this paraphernalia that it was, was in that box. I swear, I found it and I was showing my husband. Okay, well, you know what? This officer saw you in his plain view with items in that box. I know, that's what I was just telling you. It fell apart and that's what I was doing, picking it up when y'all came down. He freaked out and told me to get it. And what about you, sir? Truck. What is your name? What about you? Where did she find it at? Right back there. She was outside the truck messing around and came back and I told her to get the out of the truck. She's telling the truth. I'm not lying. Really? I don't do crack. The actual crack cocaine uh, with the silver pipe was, was found on his side. Oh, which, that right? Yeah, which I can place it. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Lean forward on the truck. Spread your legs. Yeah, be quiet, Put your please. Back. Do what now? Put your, Put your hands behind your back. I'm doing all that. You're under arrest for possession. Possession of crack cocaine. What? You understand? It was in the truck. It no, I was in the seat. Oh, God, please. I was in the seat. possession, but I opened the box. You asked me to tell you the truth, and I did. Well, how'd that crack rod get under your seat? It landed it way over here on this side of the truck. It went everywhere in the truck. Yeah. Marty, tell me. I don't want to knock on. You can show me his handling, and it's a code. Code 30, code 4. Sir, let's open up the tailgate. Let's have him have a seat so we can bring our <laughs> units down here and put them in the back. Uh, please. Please don't back arrest me. I've never been arrested yeah, before. Please step to the back life. of the truck. Please step to the back of the truck. Please. Please. You want to go get the units or what? Yeah, we'll go ahead. It's unlocked. Yeah, I got my. Right, Sir, let me talk to you. You're asking her to tell the truth. What truth is she supposed it's to be telling us? It's not your crack. No, sir. Okay. Well, look at me. Did no, you find I'm that orange box? No, sir. I didn't. 
Did she find that box? I don't know. I ain't got nothing to say. Okay. I want the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Sir, I'm, t I'm talking to her. <laughs> that is not the truth, ma'am. <laughs> After 13 years of marriage, this is the loyalty that you show your husband. It was mine. He's telling you to it tell the truth. Mine. Why? It so was mine. Why? So what you're saying is that box is yours. <laughs> it was mine. But the box has nothing to do with the, the dope. It, you bought you don't the understand. dope. No, I don't. You're the not dope making I bought, I already smoked. That so, stuff was in that box. <laughs> Does it matter now? I'm telling you the truth. Let's go ahead and have a seat. <laughs> Wait, can I get my shoes on? I'll, I'll get your shoes for you. <laughs> Marty, what am I going to do? I'll come back. I'll go to jail. I don't Have a seat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, easy, Chief. What's going on? Give it to No, step out of the car for me. You got anything on you? For me? Yeah. No. Just let me know now. No, man. Put your hand in the trunk for me. Nothing at all, right? Well, hold keep, on, your, keep, your, keep your hands up. What's the only photo? Well, you're driving the car, driving the street without license or uh, registration sticker and stuff. <laughs> I just saw you driving. I saw sparks come off your car. That's the deal. But is there a reason why you got to yes. drag me up? Yes, there is. How right that now, you, really got got me up? you got your hand in your pocket. No, I don't Relax. got my hand in my pocket. Now I want to know what you got me for, though. I'm fixing the spray. No, but what you don't have no business uh, grab me like yes, this, I though. Do. Oh, what do I do? You better not come with anything out of that pocket. Give me the other hand. <laughs> Just that, dude. Come on. You must got hurt a lot worse than that for nothing. Oh, that's what. Come on. Step up. And over. You got anything else on you? Well, you're fixing to cut it up and sell it, weren't you? No, I'm fixing to cut nothing up and sell it. I just bought that. The George 17 copy call. George 17, go ahead. We have a 5 1 at uh, 2900. Can I get an assist, please? George 17, 10 2900. You need a close for the assist? George 15, 10 or close. That's a lot of dope, my friend. Uh, there ain't no dope. What is that? That's some donuts and some flour. <laughs> OK. That's some weed. That, that's weed, but that ain't no real dope right there. So you're going to sell fake dope? No, I don't feel selling no fake dope. I took that from my little, my little cousin had that. I don't really come jack me up because I got a flat, man. No, you saw you driving a vehicle, walked up, you didn't have yeah, any stickers I'll on turn, it. I'll turn around. That, that fool up there stole my stickers this morning. Oh, did you report it? Huh? I hate because I couldn't prove it. I'm going to put it, and I can't prove it. I know he stole it. 60, 38, 58, Will Barker. 1070, Let's just have a seat right here on the ground. Yeah. 20 Anything else in the car? No, I'm not messing in the car. What are the baggies for? I just bought them baggies, man. I got to bag my damn lunch, man, so I can go to work in the morning. OK. I just bought them baggies. Sorry for that. And you're going to eat You're going to eat, You're going going to to eat. eat. You're gonna eat that donut later, too? No, I, I just told you I took that off of my little cousin. My little cousin had that. I swear. But I smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? I don't sell it. I smoke weed. Oh, OK. Stand up for me. There you go. That's the same person. Acting all weird. You know, look at that. Tell me what you think that is. Let's have a seat. We'll figure it out. Why was you all excited then? Huh? Why was you all excited then if no, it was just I, weed? No, I want to know why you had pulled me over. I told you why I pulled you over. Have a seat. No, but you didn't have to jack on me like that either. Well, you didn't have to put your hand in your pocket either, did you? No, I had it on side of my pocket. It wasn't in my put your leg in there. It wasn't in there my you go. On side of my pocket. There you go. <laughs> 
looks like it's good stuff. Paul. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of holy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of holy, but look at the texture on the yeah. sides of it. It looks like it's going to be good. It's like blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, uh, we're driving down Miller, and he starts, he sees the smoke coming off it. I turn around, and he pulls backwards here on that flat tire there. Sparks coming off it. I roll up. He's got no stickers or nothing. I pull him out. I ask him if he has any ID. He says no. I start patting him down. He jams his hand into his pocket. So I grab Matt and I pull that out of his pocket. Matt and the weed there. Yeah. And he had them those bags in his pocket too. So I figured he's gonna cut that up. And as soon as I pulled it out, or actually when we were walking back to the car, I was asking him, so look, you know, what's up with this dope? He goes, no, I ain't dope. It's, it's an old, it's an old donut. <laughs> so something I never heard before. So that's a, it's an awful no, strange no, looking no. donut. And these were for these bags were for his lunch tomorrow. Entrepreneur running a dope house around here on Avenue D. A car pulled up. Person exited, walked up to the back door. They had a transaction. We're gonna pull them over and see what was going on. Get a good smile. Watch both the windows. How you doing? Do you have some ID? Thank you. On my insurance card. Still living out in Colleyville? Yes, sir. What are you doing over here in the side of town? I was just at a friend's house. A friend's house? Who yes, would that sir. be? My friend Cassandra. Okay, where does Here's Cassandra my live? Card. She lives over off Rosedale and Hemphill with her mother. Rosedale and Hemphill? Yes, sir. Okay, so you were just over on Rosedale and Hemphill? Yes, sir. I think that's the correct card. Hmm. Stop making any extra stops on your way back home? No, that's the only place you've been is Rosedale and Hemphill and yes. you came straight back over here. Yes, sir. You didn't stop anywhere along the way. Even if I say I saw you stop along the way, you didn't stop along the way. Yep. Is your story and you're sticking to it? That's right. Okay, why don't you step out for me? I got a phone number in my pocket, and I think that's, that's it. it. You don't have anything else? Okay, I'm going to check it. Don't want to get stuck with anything, all right? No, that's the phone number in your pocket, right? Yeah, it's just a piece of paper. I don't have anything in it. You don't slip down your pants anywhere crazy, right? Nope. Okay. You don't know, even know what I'm talking about when I say I saw you somewhere else. Okay. I didn't stop someplace else. Okay, well, I already know that. was that, just so. another friend's house. I didn't... Okay, why, why wouldn't you be inclined to tell me that? Well, well, I already no, know. because that. you're going to mess with me. Well, I'm a stripper. I have lots of different friends. So all you're doing is going to visit a friend. That's, That's all it. I was doing. My friend Cassandra lives with her mom on Rosedale and Hemphill. I was over there. I stopped by his house on the way home, and now I'm headed back to my house. Right, but you stopped by to see a friend on your way exactly. back to your house. I've been at oh. work all day. I've got all my clothes in my car and everything. You have anything else in that car that you shouldn't have? Mm, I think there might be a point in there. Nothing else? There's no dope or anything. There's some cigarette butts in my ashtray. Y'all can search my car. I'm telling you straight up, there's a point and probably a spoon in there. But that's it. Where's that going to be found? Uh, probably in my purse and a little thing. Little so new one? thing. No, they're used. Do you want somebody to drop by and search her? Say again? Do you want Beth? or somebody to drop by and search her. You don't have anything on you, Dean? No, he's checked my pockets. I mean, I'll strip down naked for you if you want. No, we don't need to have that out here, but. <laughs> I take off my clothes all day for my job. I will take you up job. on the car, sir, so if you'll sit down okay. here, I'll just go ahead and do that. My still legs, okay with you. here, can I lean up against somebody? Because I pulled a muscle in my leg, so I can. Okay, why don't you? If you're sitting down on the curb, be easier. Can I lean up against you to get down on the ground? Because I pulled a muscle in my leg, so. Your needle and spoon? Yeah, it's in there. That's all of it? There's a black thing in there that says princess and that stuff's in there. Okay. I think there's like three needles in there. Maybe. You promise I'm not going to find anything else anywhere else in here, right? I swear you could rip the carpet out. And... I'd rather just not get stuck. That's no, all I'm there's, asking. There's nothing in there. From back before I got so the stuff up. that she said she so has is supposed to be. 
There's the used needles in the spoon in there. So if you got any residue or anything on there. How often do you get high? I do it like one time when I get off work and that's it. How much did that cost you a day? Uh, well now I only spend like twenty dollars a day on it. Before I was spending like three, four, five hundred dollars a day on it. I just sit around and get high all day. Oopsie daisy, and this might be empty caps. Those are empty. So far, she's telling the grotesque truth. She's using that for cotton. Hang on, just a sec. Um, it was about 7 or 7.30 when I got up there. And you went over to New York from there? Yeah, I went over there, and then I went over to my friend's house. You went over, scored, yeah, shot up, know. chilled for a while? Well, that doesn't look empty to me right there. What do you think? Where's she live at? Rosedale and Hensel. Well, she just thought she used it all. Her and her husband live over there with uh, my friend Cassandra. Sean, you may want to put her in handcuffs, sir. Do what? You may want to put her in handcuffs. Tell her that all her caps weren't empty. Step on up. What wasn't empty? Here. All your caps, all your aren't caps empty. were not empty. It looks like you may be going back for the same thing you just got out of. Great. Do we need to call your work tomorrow and tell them you won't be making it in? Please don't take me back to jail for that. Well, look at it this way. The first time you went, you cut your habit down from 500 a day to 20 a day. Now you might cut it down a little bit more.